Do you remember one of these? These are the old CRT TVs you might have used in Q. But how do they really work? To explain that, we have to take a bit of a detour. Here, you can see the so-called cathode ray tube, or CRT. But let's simplify this picture first. Here you see the simple hole of a CRT. It's nothing more than a glass tube with a vacuum inside of it. But let's make it a bit more complicated. What I've done here is I added a simple iron filament. We can manually heat this filament if we want, which makes it emit electrons. But there's a problem. Whenever this filament loses some electrons, it becomes slightly positive, which causes it to attract some emit electrons. To prevent this from happening, we can add a positively charged cylinder in front of the filament. Now all of the electrons simply get absorbed by the cylinder, so let's add a hole to allow some electrons to pass in a straight line. We don't want these stray electrons to cause any trouble, so let's also put a cover around the filament with again a small hole in the middle. To really squeeze out as many electrons as possible into our electron stream, let's make a cover negatively charged to push as many electrons right into the middle of this hole. A little terminology for you, this part that's emitting electrons is called the cathode, which is why it's a cathode ray tube. This positively charged plate is called the anode. Now we have a nice straight beam of electrons. To make it actually move in some interesting pattern, we have to need some way to deflect them. There are many ways you can do this, but I'm going to add two metal plates, one positively charged and one negatively charged. By just adjusting the voltage on these plates, I'm able to change the reflection. Now simply putting another pair of plates, I can move them both up or down and left, left or right. Now we're almost done. This is almost cathode ray tube. But you've got a nice stream of electrons which you can use, but you can't see these electrons. So to finally solve this problem, we add a phosphor screen at the end, which glows when it absorbs electrons. This is a true CRT. But how do you get a CRT TV now? It's actually quite simple. We just need to change our phosphor screen to add three different colors for each pixel. Red, green and blue. We now just simply deflect our electron stream into the right pixel and the right color channel to draw it on screen. Quick side note, you might expect to simply go over each row and draw a pixel, which is almost what we're doing, but we're skipping a line every time we, to prevent flicker. But now you can see the complicated beauty of a CRT TV. Have a nice day.